Hi, this is Debbie. A couple of people have asked me how um, to use Corel Draw to trace the um, coloring book pages. So I just wanted to do a quick tutorial to show those of you who are interested on how to do this. First of all, I've already saved my um, coloring page and it's a Tweety Bird. So I'm going to go to File, Import. In my desktop and I'm just gonna type in Tweety Bird my JPEG image and click import and then yeah, I have this and I kind of just draw it out to a nice size there we go and I'll just center this a little more for you okay and the next thing I do is I just go up to object outline trace and I choose high quality image and then it automatically does the trace and I click OK and when I'm done I go to file export and I'm just going to put it on my desktop and type Tweety export as a SVG scalable vector graphic export then this will pop up and everything is okay here and I just click okay pretty easy huh now I'm gonna go over to studio and go to file open Tweety SVG and here we go now I'm going to move it over here so we can see it better so I can show you what I do next okay you see how down here it shows that it's grouped so I'm going to hit click the ungroup I'm going to remove this portion out of here and just delete that out and this text here delete that out and group this all together just drag my cursor over it so I can move it back onto my work area And now each of these pieces will be its own individual piece. So if I click here holding down the shift key, the umbrella portion part right here, I'm going to go to a pattern fill and I'm going to fill it with a pink polka dots and then my little circles. Click here, hold down my shift key. So I can select all of the pieces I want to be a color. I'm going to go ahead and make the handle top portion the same color and of course the bottom portion the same color. I'm going to go to color fill and I'm going to fill that with a hot pink. This part right here I'm going to fill with a gray so it'll look a little silverish. And now I'm going to go to Tweety Bird and make sure I get all the parts of the face and hands and arms and just holding the shift key down clicking on all of them I'm going to hit yellow I must have missed this one click yellow again and for the eyes I think Tweety has like a pale blue eye so I'm going to click these little eye parts hold down the shift key and click that. The mouth, I'm going to click on the mouth parts and make it an orange. And if I want to go in and zoom in and do the mouth part, I'm going to zoom in and make this a darker gray and a little red right here for inside the mouth. And then we go back to fit to window. 
up in this part right here I forgot about even though it's inside right there I'm gonna go ahead and fill it with white because that's what I want it to remain to be and I'm gonna select it all and group it and then when you go to your cut style window you want to choose cut edge and hold on we're gonna ungroup that because I have to make this part if I want it to cut out just to cut there we go now I can group it again group and there we go we have a Tweety Bird all ready to cut out and it's filled with color and that was using my Corel Draw converting it to an SVG and coloring it inside studio software I hope this little video tutorial will help those of you who are using your Corel Draw um, I just recently um, purchased the X7 with a student discount I had so I'm still learning the software myself I hope this tutorial has helped everybody you all have a great day bye now